there everyone and welcome back to the Tackle Show YouTube channel. My name is Alicia and today I'm on the banks of the Peterborough Canal at the OFAH Under the Lock Fishing Derby. Anglers have been catching fish all week here and I've been collecting lots of tips for them in order to share with you to help improve your angling skills. The two biggest key pointers they have for us is using small hooks as well as using light line. So in this video I'm going to describe with to you the proper way to rig up your line in order to help you catch more fish. All right, to start off this trout fishing rig, I have in my hand some leader line. So it's about three to four pound fluorocarbon leader, and I have about three to four feet of that leader. I have some very, very small sinkers, a small size 10 hook, and an extra small uh, chain swivel. It doesn't have to be a chain swivel, that's just the smallest I could find. It happens so to be a chain swivel. And of course, I have some floats that we're gonna to attach to this line. So let's get this leader going. First, I'm going to start by attaching, um, basically creating my, my rig setup. It's going to be by attaching the swivel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Just like that. And I got a little bit of extra line, so I'm going to snip that off. Over here. Okay, now next, I'm going to be attaching the bobber to this. Now these, or the, the bobber or the float, these floats actually are not traditional like the snap-on where you have the compressed, the compressed spring right in them. In order to put this bobber onto the line, you actually have to thread the line through each one of these bobber stops and then you'll, you, you'll put this into them. I'll show you in a minute. But it's really important at this stage not to go ahead and put the hook on. You want to make sure you get these on first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Thread them through the end here. Just like that one. And two. Perfect, they're on. And we'll actually go ahead and attach the bobber so I don't lose them um, by holding on to it this way. And I know that the swivel's at the top, so I know that the first bobber stop is gonna be the top of it, and the second one's going to be the bottom, so I'm just gonna fix that on here. We do that by just kind of forcing it in and that way it's nice and snug. And the same, we'll just have the line just pairs up alongside it. And pushes on just like that. So now you can see it's on, it's snug, but you can move it if you want to move your bobber a little bit deeper or sort of shallower. Or if you want to make it a little bit deeper, you can always just push it by the simplicity of your hand and your pressure pushing it along. Okay, so now we have the rest of this long leader right here. Lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and put that hook on. You can use a variety of different knots. I, by chance, I'm just using the Palmer knot because I've learned to love it. <laughs> Palomar knot, I believe, sorry. Improperly pronounced. Touch just like that. And then again, I'm gonna make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure I'm clipping the tag end. I'll put that in my pile to recycle. And there we have, so far, we have, <clears throat> I'll coil it up here. The top of my leader, I have the swivel. I move my way down to the bobber and the two bobber stops. And I move my way all the way down to the line which has the hook on it. Now in between, we're gonna go ahead and add a few of these sinkers to it, probably about four. Um, and it helps give that line a little bit of weight without adding a lot of flash. So these really small sinkers are really good for that. I'm just gonna pinch this, get a couple of them out and attach them. Now, noting that once you attach them to that line, they will stop your bobber from being able to move deeper. So you do want to keep that in mind when you're attaching these sinkers. And you also don't want to attach them too close to your presentation because if you have this hook with a worm on it and then they see some shiny black thing following it, that might be a bit to spook. So I want to make sure you give it, you know, at least, you know, like 10 or 12 inches before you attach your first sinker. And then you're going to move up and make sure you get a little bit of space and then attach your next one. move a little bit further, attach your next one, and so on and so forth, until you've got all your four sinkers attached. All right, and there we go for our leader. And all you have to do is actually attach that to your main line once you're done. So we have a very small swivel at the top, and then room to move. So we have quite a bit of room here to move if we wanted to. And if you think that you may need to have a bit uh, 
a more like a shallower line, then you want to make sure that you'll have either be able to remove this sinker or not put it so close because as you move that bobber down and start to move and you know get a little bit more shallower because the bite may change and throughout the day if you're fishing and you notice you're not getting a bites like you used to it could be because the day has changed the bite has changed and you want to be able to adjust that sinker so that's a huge key component to being able to move your sinker easily just by sliding it along with one of these and again um, you can watch our fishing or trout fishing tips video um, that we've already I'll put a link to that in the description below but there's a good description about why these bobbers are so good to be using for trout fishing now all of this rig that I've set up have suggested to you and saying some very specific materials like those extra small swivels the really small like 10 size hooks as well as these smaller sinkers and the bobber are all about giving you the greatest advantage possible to catch some trout. However, I can attest to the fact that that is not a game change. There's not a steadfast rule. Trout will still absolutely bite if you have a different bobber. They'll still bite if you're just using 10 pound line straight to the hook, even a two or a size four hook, whatnot. We did that on the weekend with our kids, absolutely. But if a new angler is going out and trying to, um, to catch some of these trout, specifically, I'm referencing the fish from the Enderlock Fishing Derby that we stocked in the Peterborough Canal. They really, really respond well to this rig. Small hooks, light line, and a lot of patience. All right, well, I hope you can line up your rod to properly prepare yourself for your next trout fishing excursion. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and tap that notification bell to keep more fishing content coming your way. See you next time.